Hey there, welcome to The Magic in the Music. I'm Jen. You know, you may have heard recently that it is a buyer's market for Disney Vacation Club resale. Supply is plentiful and there are a lot of contracts to choose from if you are interested in purchasing DVC resale. Today, I am going to go shopping for a Disney Vacation Club resale contract and I'm going to take you along with me. So I get a lot of questions about how exactly to go about purchasing Disney Vacation Club. And so today I'm going to take you through the process of searching for contracts and I'm going to let you know what you need to know about how to understand the different points available, the use year, how to search for those different things and where to search for those things and some of the terminology that is involved. These will also be great tips to help you set an appropriate budget if you are thinking about purchasing in the future. I do plan to make an entire series of videos about this in the future, including how to uh, negotiate the price and make offers. And of course, that big one, write a first refusal. We will be talking about that more in a future video. Before we get started with our video today, I just want to quickly let you know about something new that we have just launched for our channel. We have our own Patreon. If you're not familiar with Patreon, it's a place where supporters also known as patrons, can support their favorite creators. So if you found value in the videos on our channel, we would love it if you would become a patron of The Magic and the Music. So why would we ask for your support on Patreon? Well, you may have noticed that this channel does not have any DVC related sponsorship. And the reason we've made the decision at this time to not have any kind of sponsorship is that we want to remain objective. We want to be able to say whatever we want about the products and services that are available. And the same thing goes for Disney. We want to be honest with you. That's really, really important to us. And we think that you value that as viewers as well. Now, even if you aren't able to support our channel on Patreon, there is a simple thing and it's free that you can do to help our channel as well. And that's to hit the like button on this video right now. Go down and leave us a comment and share this video with other people. The more that you engage with our videos, the more YouTube knows to share our videos with more people. And that also helps to support our channel. So if you could do that, we would be very grateful. Now let's go shopping. So when I'm searching for a Disney Vacation Club contract, the, the first place that I like to look is DisneyDVCresale.com. Now this is not a resale broker. This is a search engine and it compiles information from several different resale brokers websites. So this is a really great, great tool. Um, there are some things about it that are not necessarily updated. I think that it's becoming a bit outdated and it doesn't always update quite as quickly, but there are still a lot of great tools here and it, and it's certainly worth looking at. This is a great tab, the average listing prices. Now this is only going off of their average listing prices for the listings that they have here uh, indexed on this website, but it is still a great piece of information. You can see you have the average listing price here for like say Animal Kingdom Villas, you have a weighted average, and then you have the lowest listing and the highest listing. So this information is available on all the resorts. One of my complaints about this website is they have not updated it with Riviera Resort, so it's not there. One other minor complaint is that they label it Bay Lake Towers. It's Bay Lake Tower. It's a singular tower, but you get the point. We know what they mean. So you can see they do have ads and things for, you know, other other DVC related businesses. But um, this is does list listings from multiple different brokers. So I think this is a great place to start. So, um, and you can see their blog is way outdated. So <laughs> they, they aren't doing much with that in recent years. So let's look at the, the real main focus of this is going to be this search engine. So I'm going to just put in, um, let's put animal kingdom and maybe we'll select a couple of use years. Let's say that we could use September or October use years, and we're going to see what listings we get. Now the default, um, is only 10 listings. I like to expand that out and just try to get as many as I can on the page. So you can see here um, that we've got these different tabs here and we can actually, um, so we can sort them by use here if we want September and then October, or we can sort them by the number of points. And if you click it again, it'll go high to low and then low to high. Um, we could do the cost per point from the lowest to the highest. 
or we could do the price of the contract. You could do it by dues, but I don't know who really uses that. And this might be valuable, the date listed. So some of these are a few, like this is really weirdly a long time ago. I think that's a mistake. So you just have to kind of sift through, find the things that look like they're not really accurate anymore. So let's go to like the newest. So there are some here from June. Um, I'm recording this on June 11th, 2022. And so there are some from the 9th and the 6th, um, but there aren't, there are still some that are definitely pretty old on here. So you have to kind of be a little bit mindful of that. As you click on these, a lot of these could be sold already. But what this does do is it points you to some good resale sites and it gives you some good overviews of the data and what's out there. So let's click on one of these listings. Here's a September use here, recent listing. We're going to click more info. And you can see here we have um, an Animal Kingdom Villas contract, September use year, 100 points. Price is $14,140 per point. Shows the dues. And then this is really important. You're going to see this every different site that you go to, every listing, you're going to see this information. You'll see this one shows 2018, zero points, 2019, 72, and 2020, 100 points. Now that's a little bit out of date because you need 2021 and 22 points. So we'll show you on some of the other sites where it's more up to date, but you can see that this would take you to DVC resale market. And um, if that's still available, it would take you directly to the listing. If it's not, it just takes you to their website. So you can get more information there. And you can start to see as you look through these that uh, this is another one, DVC by resale. And here they talk about some banked points. So September use year, you've got 100 points coming on September 1st. There are 50 banked points from 2021 and 50 from 2022. So um, depending on where we are in the use years or where we are in the calendar year and what use year you're looking at, you're going to see a little bit different information there. So we'll go and look at a listing more in depth to kind of get that. But this is a great website just to kind of get an overview, get a general range of what the pricing is looking like for these resorts. And um, it, it's just a really helpful place kind of to start. So now let's start to look at some of the different listings on some of the different brokers pages. Okay, we're gonna start right here with DVC Shop Resales. Uh, the website here is resales.dvcshop.com. And um, we're gonna go just jump into the resales and kind of take a look at their listings and see how they look. So every different broker is gonna have a different um, setup on their website. So you can see that you can filter it by use year. Most people honestly are looking by resort. So we're just going to jump in and look at Animal Kingdom Villas. We have a lot of them. The status is pending. So we just have to be kind of mindful of that. Let's sort this by price because I think a lot of people are really mindful of the total cost of the contract. So we've got a lot of these already sale pending. Oh, here's a new one. Okay. So let's take a look at this one. This is a hundred point contract and let's view this one. Our expiration date here, 2057, 100 points on the contract, September use year price per point, $140. And this says we have 69 points for the 2021 use year. We are currently in the 2021 use year for a September contract. So just be mindful of that. Uh, it's going to vary depending on your use year that you're shopping for. There are 84 points available for 2022 and then the full 100 points for 2023 and beyond. No extra notes here, nothing special, but you can put in a, a request to contact them or make an offer. So they make it very, very easy. So you can see that on this website, um, it, they don't have like a massive number of listings, but they do have some available. The majority of these are actually, um, you know, they're actually sale pending already. So that's great. That means they're selling stuff. And, um, you know, there are certainly uh, many options uh, available here. And of course you can sort these by the different parameters. Um, and yeah, so they have other resources here where they talk about their shop, the resorts selling. If you want to sell, you can also get in touch with them. So that's DVC shop. And we're going to continue on to our next source. Before I move on to the next source, I just want to explain a really, really important point about Disney Vacation Club resale. A lot of people will ask me, what is the best site to use to purchase a DVC resale contract? Because we have bought a few. Um, honestly, 
for me, it's way less about the, the broker and the website and it's way more about finding the perfect contract. So when, for example, when we were adding on a contract to Animal Kingdom Lodge and we needed to have an October use year, I, it sort of didn't matter to me as much where I got it from. What was most important was getting the right contract size at the right price with the right points available in the right use year. And yes, your experience of purchasing the, the contract, it's going to be a few months long from beginning to end, but you're going to own that contract for 40, 45 plus years, some of them. So it's more important that you get the exact right contract than it is that you are shopping with any one particular vendor. And once again, not being sponsored by one company and trying to be more independent is gives me the flexibility to tell you that honest fact, find the right contract. And then hopefully it's at a company that you feel comfortable doing business with all the ones here that I'm showing you are ones that I would feel comfortable making purchases with. That does not mean that there aren't others. There certainly are, but these are all ones that I would be comfortable with. Next, we're going to go to buy and sell dvc.com. So here you can see a really different look to their website and you can either um, jump into the sellers or buyers tabs. They also have their listings just right here. So we can sort by resort, sort by use year, status or price. But I often on these smaller sites, I'm going to call it smaller because there's one that's really huge and you do need to use some of those sort sorting parameters. You probably won't have to do that on some of the smaller brokers. So again, Let's just look at these Animal Kingdom ones and you can see in the status here, it tells us um, if they're available or pending. So um, yeah, just kind of scanning through, taking a look here, you can see a lot of these in the 130s to 140s. Um, one of the general trends you're going to notice is that as the contract becomes bigger, meaning there are more points on the contract, the general price per point is gonna be lower and smaller contracts are going to be generally at a higher price per point. So that's just one of the trends among DVC contracts. And of course, the reason is a bigger contract requires more money for a buyer to purchase. So there just aren't as many buyers who can buy that particular contract. So they tend to sell at a lower price point, which is one of the reasons what I do not recommend purchasing. If you are buying direct from Disney, I do not recommend purchasing a huge, huge contract because they are very expensive if you were to resell that contract. So say instead of, we saw one for 600 points, instead of having a 600 point contract, have three 200 point contracts or have for 150 point contracts, even better. Yes, there are more closing costs, but it's so much easier to downsize and sell off some of those or just find buyers for those contracts if you ever wanted to resell them. Okay, so we're continuing through their listings and let's jump in and look at one. Okay, I'm gonna jump in and look at this Bay Lake Tower contract right here. So you can see these are hyperlinked. You can just click on them. So this contract here, uh, you can see the price is 26. $26,400. It's available 160 points, 165 per point. And take a look at this at the available points. We have 0 2021, 0 2022, and 80 points in 2023. But remember, this was a 160 point contract. That tells us that they have already used 80 points, half of the points from 2023. So um, this is what we would call a stripped contract. Technically, fully stripped would have zero points left, but the vast majority of the points are gone and used on this contract. So if you purchase this contract, you would have very few points available to you uh, for stays starting in March of 2023. So more, not quite a year from now, you could stay, but you'd only have 80 points available. You'd have to wait a whole other year uh, for stays to uh, actually have the full 160 points replenished. So that's a really important thing to think about. And that certainly does impact the value of the contract by a few dollars. Okay, one other type of contract that I want to show you is a loaded contract. And um, so I've clicked over here to this Grand Floridian listing that is listed at $36,000. It does have a sale pending, but I think this is a great example of a loaded contract. So let's take a look at it. The price is $180 per point. And you can see in October of 21, which we are currently in the October use year. So the 2021 October use year, we're currently in it. It has 200 points available 
right now. If you bought that and you closed today, which it would take you a couple of months, but if you closed right away, you would have 200 points available. So that's really awesome. Really, really awesome. Or you could rent them out if you couldn't use them in time. If you look at October of 2022, that use year begins on October 1st, 2022, which for me recording this, that's in the future. There are 400 points available. So clearly somebody has already banked points forward from this use year into the future. And probably the ones in the October 2021 use year were banked from the previous use year. And then of course you have the full 200 points coming in October of 2023. So that is what we would call a fully loaded contract. This is loaded. It has tons and tons of points available on it. And the price typically reflects that. Okay, our next website is dvcstore.com. When I type in dvcresale.com, it takes me to DVC store. Folks, if you're starting to feel like your head is spinning with DVC this, DVC that, buy and sell DVC, buy this, buy DVC, DVC resale, resell DVC, yes, exactly. My head is spinning, it's confusing. Many of these companies are interconnected. They have business relationships with each other. It's confusing. <laughs> it's a lot. So, you know, I, I often go off of, oh yeah, that's the, the page that looks like this, <laughs> but it really can be confusing. The important thing is keep your eyes on the prize. Look for that contract that has the characteristics that you're looking for, because that's what you're going to be living with long-term. All right, back to it. So this is dbcstore.com. <laughs> which you can see is connected to Timeshare Store Inc. So on this website, we've got a lot of different options here. We've got, let's jump into the current DVC listings. You can search by the resort, use year, minimum points, maximum points, or we can just go down to the listings. These are a little bit harder to um, search kind of. I feel like this is not the most user friendly um, and you can click on the different features of them, but if you click here, it'll take you to the contract. So let's look at one of, let's look at one of their listings here. So let's go into this one. What I, what I find a little harder is that the, the points available are not as prominently displayed on this page, but I do see something I want to address. So let's click into this listing here. Okay. So we've got an animal kingdom lodge, uh, listing here and they go through all the normal things, expiration points, use year, banked points, borrowed points, etc cetera, etc cetera. closing costs all that is good okay now here we have some special notes we want to we want to pay attention to so international seller cannot close before 10 31 22. there are two different things going on here that i want to address first international seller so an international seller it just means they're not in the united states they could be in canada uk wherever and um it my understanding, I have not sold a contract. I've not bought or sold a contract in terms of an international transaction. But my understanding is that there is just some additional paperwork that the resale broker has to fill out and a couple of things they need to make sure are taken care of. So for me, that's not a major issue. It's not like, a, oh, stay away from this. This is like a red flag. I wouldn't really worry about it if it's the perfect contract. On the other hand, there is maybe some potential for something to get messed up. If you find the absolute perfect contract and there's nothing else available and it says international seller, yeah, it's fine, go for it. But we are in a buyer's market and you have a lot of inventory to choose from. So given that you have a lot of choices, if you're searching for something that is readily available, say a 160 point contract and there are loads of those for Animal Kingdom Lodge, maybe just move on to the next one. You know, save yourself the tiny percent chance of a headache with that. The second thing I want to address on this listing is that it says cannot close before 10 31 22. And what that means is that they either have a reservation that they are going to go and take a trip and they're checking out on the 31st, or they maybe have somebody renting the points from them, the owner does. So there is some kind of reservation that is preventing that sale from happening. So you don't wanna have an active reservation in the books when you are making this transaction. Of course, there could potentially be legal reasons 
why you know you can't sell before a certain date maybe there's divorce proceedings or something else going on you know or maybe it's part of a will but generally speaking we can assume that they have some sort of reservation on the books they need to use the points for a stay and then as soon as that reservation is done then they can go ahead and do the transaction and make the sale again this really isn't a limiting factor except that you can't close till october 31st so if that's good for you and you want to set up the deal now, negotiate the deal, send it to write a first refusal, do all the things. That's great. You can go ahead and do that, but you are going to be waiting longer when these situations come up. Something I really do like about dvcstore.com is that you have the contact us option. That's really great. And you can scroll on through and see all these uh, different listings. So there you go. Okay, here we are at dvcsales.com. Like I said, your head would be spinning with all of these names that are so similar. And you can see that at dvcsales.com, they are leading with their uh, experience and talking about how they have experience as uh, Vacation Club cast members and selling DVC directly with Disney. And quite frankly, a lot of the people that work for these companies are former cast members. So you can read about their, um, their background and that's great and we can jump right into the inventory here. And here we are at their listing. So they have a little Mickey hand cursor that's sort of adorable. Okay, so you can see here they have the option of, if you create a login, you can favorite these, which is really handy. Um, and it looks like, yes, you can sort these by use here, by these different factors. You can actually click on these and you can see the different um, features. So I'm gonna just click on a listing here I guess we can use the plus sign. Maybe that's what we need. Here we go. Um, and so let's go in and see how their listings look. So they have like a little thing where you can put in your asking price and then the, the, um, the total cost. So that's kind of cool. I like that. And then they've got some different listings you can move to. And then they kind of talk about, um, you know, is this a good deal? I guess that's their little metric. So that's interesting. Um, all right, and then they give you a lot of additional information. And then if you wanna make an offer, most of them have a little button you can hit where you can make an offer right there on the spot. And they normally would email you or contact you just to verify all the information. And then they'll present that offer to the uh, seller. All right, let's head on over to our next broker. Next up is DVC by Resale. Again, you can see a lot of these have a little bit more basic kind of websites. That does not mean anything about the quality of the contract. Just to be clear about that, a DVC contract is a DVC contract. So finding the right contract is the most important thing. And there is a huge difference between searching for a 200 point Bay Lake Tower contract, which there'll be many, versus searching for a 50 point Animal Kingdom contract that has a February use year. That is really a diamond in the rough. That's a very specific thing that you're searching for. And so you're going to need to be more flexible if you're looking for a very, very specific thing. But if you have something where there's more variety of it, then you can kind of choose your broker and choose your experience. And ultimately, you know, having a slick website's nice, but it doesn't mean that they aren't just as good uh, of a company. So let's take a look at this next one. We have DVC by resale and you can see we get right to the listings. I like when they take us right to them um, and we can, uh, looks like these are linked and so you can sort by resort, for example, usually Animal Kingdom comes up first, it's alphabetical. And then we have some additional information in each one. So let's um, go in and look at one of these. Let's look at this one we're going to click buy now. Okay, so we'll get to their listing page and here's all the information about the contract. You can see that they present the information in a variety of different ways. And here they'll have you kind of indicate um, if you want asking price, you want to make an offer, contact them, and then you can just fill it out right here on the page and submit this and there you go. You can make your offer right there on the spot. And then any of these, if you make an offer, they're either going to email you or call you and get in touch with you just about um, the next steps moving forward. 
Okay, up next we have resalesdvc.com. So this is one of the companies that actually has an app that you can download onto your mobile device. And um, I do have this one and it is actually pretty helpful. So especially if you're looking for one of those kind of unicorn contracts, it's hard to find and it's a very specific thing and there isn't a lot of selection of that contract. Um, the apps are really, really great option because you'll get an alert on your, your device saying, Hey, this new contract, this new listing came up and off you go. And we actually did find our second contract that way when, um, we had put in for the, we had used an app with one, a different company and, um, you know, the listing popped up and I went, Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And we negotiated the price back and forth a bit, got it where we wanted it and we were done. We had it. We were really happy to uh, get the contract we wanted and it was just really convenient. I didn't really have to go searching, although some people actually love searching for these and looking through the, these, but watch out, it's dangerous. I will also caution you, if you get the app on your device, it's pretty dangerous to have suddenly just the contracts you want just popping up on your phone. So be really careful with that one. Let's take a look at their listing. So you can see they have them listed in Kind of a list mode it looks like these are not linked so i can't sort them but their list is not too too huge um so you can go through here and just kind of scan through if it has the link for more info that means it's available so we can go ahead and click on this one and go in and look at what their listings look like again similar kind of setup i do like they have the contact us the chat options so if you have questions you can ask those and three points available to use by August 1st. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Don't go crazy with those three points. All right. So anyway, you can see all of the information here, the price, and it looks like they've got some good information about closing costs, resale policy, and making an offer. And then your contact information here. By the way, I do want to mention that a lot of these have companies have mailing lists and so you can get on the email list and they'll email you, you know, new listings and things like that. Okay. The next one we're going to look at is Fidelity Resale. I'll include the links to all of these in the comments below, but, um, Fidelity has got kind of a mixed reputation. So traditionally back in the years when we were shopping for DVC resale a lot, we haven't bought a contract in a couple of years, but they tended to have the lowest listing prices overall. And that was great, but they also tended to kind of be infamous in terms of not communicating a lot with sellers. And I definitely heard multiple stories of people who had made offers and then the offer was accepted and they didn't hear back. And days later they got an email saying, Oh yeah. Okay. Here's your contract. And they're like, what? I assumed they didn't accept my offer because I never heard back from them. Now I can't speak to them today. Perhaps they've addressed some of those communication issues, but I have, I have kind of seen that. So like it, sometimes things are a little too good to be true and that like the price can be really competitive, but sometimes maybe, there's something else that's a little bit less desirable about it. Let's take a look at one of their listings and see what it looks like. I have to say their website looks quite nice. Um, I don't actually care for as much the way that they've laid out their listings, but it is very polished and nice looking. So here, um, let's, let's take a look. Okay. Here we are on the listing and they've got the listing number. We've got the price pretty good price, $123 per point. You can see here, you can make an offer. I do like how they have all these really nice photos, um, at the resort that that's a nice feature for sure. And here, um, they've got all the information. Oh, this is kind of nice. If you were to finance, they show you uh, what the monthly payment would be. Well, that's pretty good. Okay. So, I feel like this website is actually very nice looking and, um, you know, it feels very professional. Um, obviously you can see they don't only do Disney vacation club. They do other timeshares and things as well. So, you know, maybe not as much as of a specialty in Disney vacation club, but it's one of the options. Okay. We are down to the last one on my list for today. And it is probably the most well-known. It is certainly the one that knows how to work 
the Google search results more than any of the others, and they are very successful at getting their name out there and being known, and that is DVC Resale Market. So DVC Resale Market has very slick marketing, beautifully designed website, and you can see it really has a lot going on here. So you have a chat feature that will pop right up, and I'm gonna close this out just to get it out of the way. They have these little things that pop up that show you different listings. There's just sort of a lot coming at you on this page. So let's go into the listings. You can see they have 791 DVC listings, which as far as I've ever seen, that is by far the most that any company is dealing with. This is a definitely a large company. They're part of World of DVC company, and um, that encompasses is an umbrella that has several companies um, underneath it or affiliates working with them. Um, and okay, it's like pretty cool that when you move your cursor, it gives you pixie dust. Okay. All right, DVC resale market points for the pixie dust on the cursor. That's cool. But you got to have the contract I want too. So let's go into these listings and let's go check them out. Now with 791 listings, I don't recommend just looking at the whole list. Let's zero in on some things that we definitely are looking for. So we're going to try our old animal kingdom uh, trick here and we're going to look for an animal kingdom villas contract. One of the things I really like about this company, and I have used them once in the past, um, one of the things I like about this company is that they also have an app that's available for the phone. So you can download the phone app and it will again pop up when you see a listing that meets your search criteria. So that's really handy. One of the downsides that I have seen is that I feel that they tend to list things quite high on this website, but if you're willing to negotiate, it's not really a problem. So, um, you know, there's, there's a good and bad to that. Um, if you are the seller, you probably are thrilled that they're listing things a little bit higher. Um, and if you're the buyer, you probably would like to negotiate a little bit. So it's, it goes both ways on this website. You can see we have, we can search by different, um, parameters. And one thing I would strongly recommend is clicking this active listings only because that is going to really cut down the number of, of listings you're looking at. So let's actually take away our resort. Um, I'm just going to strip this off. So it's all of them. So if you see, this is, this is interesting. Um, all of the brokers do this. They will leave pending contracts on their listing. I think so they can be like, see, look what we're selling. Um, <laughs> and so right here, like it says, if we, if we take this off, yes, we have 794 contracts, but not all 794 contracts are available. And it's the same with all of the other sellers as well. Okay. So if we just use this little box here, it says active listings only. Oh, that came down to 549. That's still a lot of contracts to choose from, but it did come down quite a bit. So, um, let's look at these. We have, um, I do like these little boxes that they put. So like this one, the seller is paying the closing costs that does not happen real often. So I think that's something they're doing to try to incentivize going with that seller. That's great. In fact, this is a contract that matches mine October use here. So let's go in and, um, and we'll look, Oh, whoops. If you click that, be careful. Cause it'll just give you all the ones where they're <laughs> paying the closing costs. Let's try that again. Here we go. Um, yeah, I accidentally see it, it adds it to here, which is annoying. I wish it didn't do that. So take that off. So our filter now is active listings. So let's take a look. We've got animal kingdom lodge and I think I'm going to do it by, um, let's do it by cost. Look at that. You can get the lowest cost contract available is 2670. What a deal. And that is $89 per point at Vero beach. And you might be like, wow, that's amazing. I'm, I'm on it. Let's, I'm going to go buy it right now. Well, not so fast. If you want to stay at Vero beach, then that's great. But if you don't, and you just want to stay at Disney world or even Disneyland, which would be even harder, if you want to stay at the theme parks with that Vero beach contract, not so fast. Um, it is going to be harder for you to get bookings at the seven month window. Now, if you're fine with staying at old key West or, um, Saratoga Springs, then that might work. But the downside is that resort has a higher maintenance fee. And so over the life of the contract, you're actually going to end up paying more. So the savings you think you got out of buying that less expensive contract in terms of the per point cost 
it's going to catch up with you in maintenance fees. All of those beach resort locations, Hilton Head, Vero Beach, and Alani all have really high maintenance fees. So don't fall into that trap. Watch out. So let's add Animal Kingdom Lodge here. And now we can see the cheapest Animal Kingdom contract is this one at 7,600. And if we click on it, we can go in and look at the listing itself. And you can see here we have the price, make an offer, oh, more pixie dust. <laughs> make an offer and it's gonna sparkle with pixie dust. <laughs> you can see the points listed and um, closing costs, estimated closing costs, total cost of purchase. And you can see some other resources. They've got some photos and the resort point charts right there. You can also like that if you want to add it to your list of favorite contracts. All right, so while we're here, we're gonna do something really fun because there are a lot of listings here. Let's take a look at the most expensive listing and the least expensive listing. Actually, we'll start with the least expensive listing here. So we're gonna sort it by price. And it is in fact that Vero Beach one we just talked about, only 2670 for 30 points at Vero Beach. But a close second is this Hilton Head one for 30 points. And it is stripped, look at that. There are only um, 30 points coming in 2023. So that's a pretty stripped contract at only 3120 for those for that contract. That is pretty cheap. There are not a lot of contracts that are that inexpensive. Okay, now let's go the other way. <laughs> highest price contract. You ready for this? The highest price contract that is currently available from DVC Resale Market is 1,000 points at Grand Floridian for only $168,000. Wow. But close behind it, you have a Polynesian contract that is also 1,000 points for $150,000. $3,000. <laughs> okay, I got to look at this one. Let's look. Let's look. And they've actually, it's pretty well stripped also. <laughs> All the August 2022 points are gone and you uh, have new new points coming in August of 2023. So they, they've used up a lot of these points. The seller is going to pay the 2022 annual dues. And I actually want to note something here. The customary thing is that the seller pays for the dues for the points that they used. And then any points that you would use, you would normally pay the dues for those points. Sometimes you can negotiate into the deal, you know, like you maybe want the seller to pay for some of the points you're gonna get. And in a buyer's market like it is right now, you might actually be able to do that. But, um, you know, so that's an option. But generally speaking, you pay the dues on the points that you actually got. Oh, look at that. With your closing costs of 2507, you too can have this thousand point Grand Floridian contract for just $170,509. And by the way, folks, you can't close till after 730 2022 because it looks like they got a big, amazing vacation coming up in July. Wow. So there you have it, folks. That is uh, how I start to shop for Disney Vacation Club contracts when I am looking to make a purchase or sometimes when I'm just kind of bored and I want to be entertained and look for a $170,000 contract because like that's kind of fun. Hey, if you are thinking about purchasing Disney Vacation Club, we want you to check out this playlist right over here. You're going to find tons of helpful info and we also think you're going to really like this video right up here. So check it out. Thanks so much for joining us today. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Bye.